you will need the following tools, the SS93, the dental pick, metal tweezers, a bit holder with a Torx plus size 6 bit, a torque driver, a straight bladed screwdriver and a DC plug. Always cover the windows with a protective film. Unlock and remove the battery cover. Shift open the assembly. Then open the back cover assembly carefully. The removal of the SD card door becomes easy now. Keep all six adhesives of the back cover clean, otherwise you have to change them before reassembly. Gently pry open both plastic clips of the ITU keypad. Lift it up now and remove it. Shift the assembly together and turn it to access the screws. Unscrew the four Torx Plus size 6 screws in the order shown. Remove all screws and discard them. Do not use them again. Lift up the top cover assembly first, then remove it. Shift out the assembly in order to gain the maximum flex foil length. Separate the assemblies. Keep in mind that the flex foil is still connected. Be double careful while opening this connector. Do not destroy the hidden components underneath. Now the parts can be separated. Unscrew both screws in the order shown and remove them. Lift up the light swap PWB together with the main camera. To separate the camera, disconnect the flex connector first. Do not lever out against the components. Remove the USB seal. The bottom cover can be separated easily. Ease out the microphone and discard it. Use a new one when reassembling. Remove the DC jack and the AV connector with the DC plug. Gently lever out the glued into NAS speakers. The gaskets will be destroyed. Remove all residues before reassembly. Lever up the first metal latch of the BB shield and then the second one. Do not touch or bend the gasket. Keep it together with the PWB. Gently release the adhesive of the camera protective shutter module. Mind the hidden switch underneath. Remove it now. It can't be reused again.
release the flex of the 1UJ flash module, beginning at the connector's side. Now peel up the flex. Now release the still fix side with the SS93. The module can't be used again. Check that no residues of the adhesive remain. The disassembly procedure of the lower block is now completed.